Welcome to another episode of Atna 101. I'm Dr. John Smelser. I'd like to first preface this episode by saying thank you to Alicia McCann. She's a student in linguistics at the University of Australia in Sydney, and she emailed me just the other day to say that she's in a course where they're looking at indigenous native languages worldwide, and she chose Atna, and she has been um, studying our language and wanted to just let me know that. And she asked me if I would uh, do today's episode about kinship terms, how we're related to one another. So I'll do uh, the first dozen or so. There's quite a few, if you can imagine. You have lots of relatives, right? So here we go. My mother is just snan, snan. <laughs> his mother, his mother, uban, uban. Some people just say ban and sometimes unan, our mother, so it's our mother, collective, uh, ne non, ne non. If you have a mother and a daughter, you would say nil non, nil non. If you're talking about your father, it's just sta, sta. How about your mother who is deceased? She's passed on, so you're referring to your mother who's no longer with us. Then that is ukan chits edin, ukan chits edin. If you're talking about your father who is deceased, it's snelt yanen, snelt yanen, snelt yanen. If you're talking about your grandfather, it is just simply chia, chia. If you're talking about your great grandfather, then it's huane chia, huane chiana. You'll see huane again. If it's your grandmother, then it's just chukta, chukta. But if it's your great grandmother, it's the huane chukta, huane chukta. There's lots of terms. You have a preface if it's his or her, you know, my grandmother, his grandmother, her grandmother. I'll have to talk about how those operate in a later episode. But for today, welcome to Adna 101. Stay tuned for the next episode.